In this video we'll be showing you how to use the Silhouette Boundary Tool. Now, this is a very handy tool to create geometry around the outer profile of a series of faces. And in this case we'll be working with this connecting rod. Um, this particular part offers a series of challenges where uh, if I wanted to create a contour toolpath around the outer profile I wouldn't be able to do so very easily because there's no geometry that goes all the way around it. Uh, the Silhouette Boundary Tool will allow me to project this geometry up to a a certain level uh, where I can then contour completely around the part. Uh, so to set this up, uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to set my Z height uh, to something other than zero. Let's just say five inches in this case. Uh, what this will do is we'll create the geometry five inches above the part uh, and that will allow me to be able to see the geometry a little bit easier and work with it a little bit easier. Uh, then from here I go to my create tab and then down to silhouette boundary and then I'll be asked to select a series of faces that I want to project onto the Z level that I've just set here. Um, so I'll turn my Activate Solid Selection on. Uh, I want to make sure Select Faces is turned on. And then I'll just pick these top faces here. Um, so the two bosses and then the, the material in the middle here, this bridge in the middle. Um, end Selection here. And this brings up my Silhouette Boundary Tool page here where I can alter the tessellation tolerance and the filter tolerance. Now the tighter I make these numbers, uh, the more accurately the geometry will follow the solid or surface that I've selected um, at the expense of a little bit of extra processing time on my computer. So the tighter I make these numbers, the more processing time, um, but the more accurate the geometry, and then the, small, the larger the number, uh, faster processing time, but a, a less accurate. Uh, geometry creation there. Um, so I'll leave these set to default here uh, which is a thousands for each one uh, and then I'll select OK and then here it generates the geometry five inches above Z where we've selected here uh, and this basically just looks at the faces and brings them all to one level uh, and then creates a, a profile geometry around it and that's what you're seeing up here. So from here I could then throw a contour toolpath around this outer profile uh, and I would be able to create that toolpath much easier than if this were all uh, broken up like it is. Uh, another option that we have here is uh, in our model prep tool, tools here under my push-pull. I can bring this face up um, to the level of uh, these bosses and just let it snap to that face there. And then at that point um, select that. At that point then I have a solid edge, a clean solid edge all the way around. Um, so a couple different options here um, but some handy tools for creating geometry uh, in order to create a tool path on a multi-surface part like this.